What's going on, everybody? The original Mako back with some more Gunfire Reborn content, and we have another tier list. And I understand that, you know, there's going to be new weapons, new scrolls, new inscriptions, a bunch of new stuff coming out soon. So we're going to need to update these tier lists, but that's okay. We'll do it. I do want to get a baseline for my scrolls tier list, though. So that way we can make an updated one when there's more scrolls that come out. But we're going to just start it off. I'm going to try to go through it quicker than the weapons one because there's a lot more scrolls than there are weapons. But let's just go ahead and get ready to hop on into it. If you enjoy the content, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. There's about to be a huge content drop on Thursday, probably. So Friday, expect probably th between three to five, maybe six videos, depending on how much content I can get through and unlock and do myself. So you're going to want to be subbed for that. Also, check the links in the description, twitch.tv slash the original Mako. We have a lot of fun on stream. Trust me, you could ask anybody that's come over from YouTube. They enjoy being there a lot. And then check out the Discord as well if you want to hang out and talk to some cool people. So let's go ahead and get into it here. Um, so we've got all of our scrolls. I'm going to try to do it off of memory, but if I forget one, as you can see, I do have the wiki pulled up. So basically, S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier. Don't get this. Don't not get this. Hey, that's pretty good. Average, situational. Why are you picking this up? I'm going to do my best. I haven't really thought about this. I'm just going to kind of wing it as we go. So first one, abnormal speed, 10% movement speed for every 10% armor you have. I'm fairly certain. Um, yeah, there's, there's almost no reason not to take it. On the bird, it's extremely, extremely good. On the other two characters, it's still good. Not as good, but there's not really a reason not to take it. Um, it's very, very good. So that's going to go in the A category. It's not quite S tier, but it's definitely a solid scroll. Uh, Resolute, I believe, is plus 75% damage. Oh, we're going to have to look that one up. Or that's not Resolute. That's a different one anyway. Um, um, oh, no. We can't be doing this. We can't be doing this this early. Abundant Vitality plus 75% weapon damage while shield is recharging. Okay. So... That one, um, I'm going to put B, uh, 75% damage is a pretty significant buff to damage, but obviously you don't want your shield recharging very often. It, it isn't ideal. Uh, it doesn't work if you have flesh and bones and there is like with the bird, you could kind of purposely or no, I don't know how. I'm going to be honest here. I don't know how it works with the bird because he has armor, not shield. But if it works how I think it might work, if you lose some shield as the bird, you can purposely keep that shield not full to have this proc. But even if you're on the other two characters, 75% damage is pretty solid. And obviously, if your shield's down, you're probably in a tough spot and you're going to need that boost. So it's an okay one. Average, not bad. Advanced Depot. Now, sue me here. But I'm putting this in situational, C. I don't know if it's necessarily C, but it definitely describes the situational tag. Under the right circumstances, it's one of the best scrolls in the game. But losing 15% damage doesn't help you out unless you need the infinite ammo for some reason. Uh, whether it's a demon lore, whether it's uh, you don't want to reload your firefish or crimson fire scale, whatever it is. I personally think this is more of a situational scroll, but a very, very good situational scroll. Uh, next, advanced joggers, 50% dash cooldown. We're going to put that in the same tier as abnormal speed. Having your dash cooldown quicker means more speed and is just much better. Um, against the flow. This is going to go into S tier. Now, why is this an S tier and not a situational, you might be thinking. Against the flow helps every, just about every single weapon in the game. Because when you're hitting enemies, you're getting ammo back to the mag, which means every weapon you're shooting more without having to reload. And that just equates to more DPS. Whereas Advanced Depot, you lose 15% damage and yes, you're constantly shooting. You never have to reload. But against the flow, you don't lose that damage. 
and you don't lose that ammo. The ammo comes back. With Advanced Depot, you lose the ammo. Against the Flow, you don't lose the ammo. So a couple of really good positives for Against the Flow. I don't think there's ever a reason not to take it unless you're using maybe a Tiger Cannon or um, it wouldn't work too well with a Talisman, most likely. Um, anything where you dump your mag before Against the Flow could proc, but it's 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 very, very good. Uh, airbag. Now, this is minus 2% HP per second, but as soon as your shield breaks, all your HP is instantly regened. I, I, I want to make sure I get this right, but I think that's what it is. Um, minus 2% HP when shield slash armor is full, recover 100% HP when shield slash armor gets broken. So maybe I haven't experimented with this enough, maybe I'm not thinking about the right scenarios, but I have never ever found a good reason to use this. It doesn't make sense to me. I don't get it. I don't know what situations this would be very good in, but that that's, I, I would never use this, pick it up. Uh, ammo belt. I'm not going to put it in S tier. There's no reason for you not to get it because it just doubles the ammo you can hold, but it's not quite on against the flows level. It's, it's a very, very good scroll and there's no reason not to take it. Uh, just doubling the amount of ammo you can carry is almost always a good thing. So a tier, very good. Oh my God. I need to go a little bit faster. Okay. I'm going to start, stop explaining as much. Um, ammo something, I forget what it's called, but for every seven meters you travel, you generate one random ammo. Uh, average, it's okay. It's not crazy. Uh, you're going to get some extra ammo. Maybe it's the ammo you need. Maybe it's not. But you are generating it fairly often. So not bad. Arms dealer. Plus, oh boy. Hold up. We're going to need to double check on that one just so I don't pooch this. Minus 20% damage taken and plus 30% damage dealt for 10 seconds whenever you consume 100 ammo. This is going to go situational. Uh, if you're using an automatic weapon that has a lot of ammo, very, very good. If you're using like a Justice, a Tiger Cannon, anything that doesn't shoot as often, it's not ever very really going to proc. But situationally, it can be very, very solid. Uh, backup Shield, swoop. S tier, well, uh, actually, no, I'll put the... Mm, S tier, but maybe on the lower end of S tier. So whenever your shield breaks, you regenerate 40% of your shield instantaneously. Uh, very good defensive perk can help you stay alive in a lot of different situations. Um, I forget what this one's called, but for every 1% HP lost, you take less damage as well. Let's find that just to make sure we're on the right page here. Uh, oh, it's lucky shot. So plus 0.5 lucky shot chance for each 1% HP you lose. Um, that's C, not even situational. I, I don't think it's just okay. It's, there's no reason not to take it, but it's not going to affect your runs most likely too much. Uh, blazing hoop. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and while we're here, put all of the, um, uh, Where's the lightning one? Anybody? Come on. What are we doing here? I think I'm blind, guys. Oh, there it is. Uh, we're going to put all these in S tier because getting extra elemental effects is huge. When you're not dual wielding, if you have a lightning weapon and then a fire blazing hoop, you're dealing lightning and fire damage every 10 seconds and you're just creating elemental effects. These are all just fantastic scrolls. Take them every time you see them beautiful scrolls uh next up bloody ammo uh you can keep shooting after the magazine's empty but it costs life um there's a few scenarios where bloody ammo is probably good to use um i'm gonna be honest i'm not a fan of it i don't like it very much it's gonna go in the c category i don't use it it's just not not one I use, but I'm sure I'll get some flack for that because I think there are some good scenarios for it. So I put it situational C level. Um, buff buns. I don't know what the actual name of it is, but essentially when your health is full, you do plus 25% damage. Uh, we'll put it in B average. There's no reason not to take it. If you have full health, you're going to be doing plus 25% damage. Works really, really well with paranormality. 
Um, works well with some other stuff too, but your health's going to be full a lot, hopefully. So you're going to get that proct a decent amount. Um, immune, I don't know what it's called, but you're immune to damage for one second after swapping weapons. We're also going to go B. It's not going to, it's not a game changing scroll, but it's, it's good. Uh, every time you swap weapons, you'll be immune to damage for one second. And it has a little bit of a cooldown. I forget what it is before you can swap weapons and become invulnerable again, but not bad, average, good. Uh, brutal gloves plus 35% damage to enemies on a normal hit, so non-elemental hits. Um, we'll put that in B as well. It's once again, it's not run changing, but I wouldn't say it's situational either. It's just a good one to have. Uh, bullet bank is going to go into A, however. All ammo you pick up converts to the ammo type you need the ammo type that the weapon you're using is so all of the ammo you pick up will convert to your gun's ammo type this can literally be the only ammo thing you need for so many different runs if if you're dual wielding with the dog and you have let's say double justice or let's do a better example maybe you have um double scalpels you're going to be running through your your normal ammo pretty quick but if you have bullet bank you never have to worry about ammo so uh, pretty solid, not bad. Casual gunmanship, I think, is the name of this one. Um, plus twenty percent lucky shot chance, but minus twenty percent damage when you aren't lucky shotting. So we're gonna put this in average. No, we're gonna put this situational. If you already have a high lucky shot chance, you're gonna want to take this because you're gonna be lucky shot chancing a lot. But if this is the only lucky shot increase you have. Chances are you're going to be doing minus 20% damage more often than not, and that's not ideal. So this is kind of completely based around what you are running. So that's why it's going to go there. Uh, next up, we have Coin Shot. Coin Shot is going to go into the situational. If you're using a low ammo weapon that does a lot of damage in a short amount of bullets, you want that. But automatic weapons, you're not going to want it. Uh, so once again, this is a situational, it's not something you're just going to want to take all the time. Copper miner is average. Enemies within seven meters will drop double coins. Uh, it's good. There's no reason not to take it. You'll probably end up getting a little bit of use out of it, no matter what. It is certainly better with other runs or other builds than some builds than others, but not bad. Um, average right in the middle, uh, corrosion enthusiast. I want to get this 100% right, so we're just going to scroll and get this real quick. Whenever you flicked decay to enemies, also inflict decay on yourself. When you are in decay, minus 20% damage taken and plus 40% movement speed. So, um, if you aren't using a decay weapon, it's very good. But, because it doesn't hurt you at all, it actually just helps you. But if you are using a decay weapon, it's not something ideal that you're going to want to have. It'll probably hurt you more than help you by slowing you down, but it's definitely an average perk. Uh, is, I wouldn't say situational because most of the time you can probably avoid using a weapon with decay and get away with it. So it's good. Um, not bad. Something to put there. So corrosion shard. When you take corrosion damage, immune to corrosive damage for two seconds, but take double fire and lightning damage average it's not bad you do become immune to corrosion which means you won't be slowed but for two seconds at least but you have to be very careful of fire and electric so average uh deadly counter let me see how it reads real quick just so i can make a right decision here uh, oh rip Okay, what? Oh, after taking damage, all hits will become crit hits. Okay, so this is going to go S tier. Um, when you take damage, all of your crit hits are going to be crits. Um, if you're using a weapon like the Justice, you will automatically do crit damage with it since you are hitting the enemy, which means you can make a weapon that can't crit, crit, and that's just never a bad thing. And it lasts three seconds, which is a pretty long time, so not bad. Uh, Deadly Curse, minus 75% HP plus 75% damage. This is very situational. Not something you want to pick up all the time. If you have paranormality, it's a must pick up a S tier scroll. But without it, you're taking a humongous risk taking it. But it just depends on the situation your build's in. If you already have a broken build and you really don't think you're taking much damage at all, go for it. Uh, backup shield, also situational. Minus 90% damage taken when you are 
outside of 15 meters plus 90% damage taken when you're inside of 15 meters. Uh, this basically just wins you the boss fight as long as you can deal with the catfish warriors. But outside of that, you're once again taking a humongous risk. So it kind of just depends on where you are in the run and how you feel about your defense. Uh, Deft Hands is S tier. After killing an enemy, you don't consume ammo for two seconds. This is another case of you're just going to be able to shoot more. And if you just keep killing enemies, you just never have to reload. You just keep not having to use ammo. Uh, fantastic perk, S tier. Never, I'll always get it if you can. Devil's Covenant. Uh, pretty good. We're going to put it in A. You lose 75% of your HP, but all coins gained are doubled, and you double your current coins at the time you pick it up. Um, usually a very good thing to pick up as early as possible, uh, but even later in the game, it can help you buy some extra, I don't know, scrolls or upgrades on your weapon. Doubling your money in this game is huge, so this is definitely A tier. I wouldn't say S tier, but it's definitely very good. Um, double exhilaration. So this just doubles your, uh, secondary skill. So either your smoke grenades, fire grenades, or cleaves. Uh, we're going to put an A because there's never a reason not to double your capacity. You can always just have more. I'd say it's not as good on the dog because his grenades can start falling off if you don't build for his grenades, but the cat having double and having double cleaves is massive. So that's a very good perk. Uh, dual edge plus 75% damage or plus 1% damage taken damage dealt and plus 0.1% damage taken for every enemy you kill. It's average. It's good. You are going to start taking a lot of damage depending on how early you pick it up, but you're also going to be doing a lot more damage. So it's not a bad one to have if you feel good about your defense or your ability to dodge. So not bad. Lightning Enthusiasts, it's just one of one again, want to make sure we get this right. Whenever you inflict shock on enemies, inflict shock on yourself. When you are in shock, you deal plus 75% lightning damage. So this one, if you don't have a lightning weapon, you're not really, it's not going to get a lot of use out of it. So this one's very situational. If you are doing lightning damage, it's very good. So you're going to want to have it. But if not, then it's not really worth your time uh, to pick it up or to... It's not going to be helping you if you do pick it up. So that's why that one's going to go there. Uh, next up we have, I don't actually know what that one is. Oh, the elemental bestowment. Recover 1% max HP and 10 ammo equipped whenever you kill an enemy affected by elemental effects. This is B. Most of the time you're going to be doing some sort of elemental damage. Um, so it's, it's not bad. Uh, if you have an elemental build specifically, it makes it a little bit better. If you aren't doing elemental damage, then it obviously makes it a little bit worse. But we're just going to slap it right in the middle. Uh, this is not elemental turret. This is elemental something. Oh, boy. I am really showing my my knowledge here. Plus 15% elemental damage for each nearby enemy affected by elemental effect. Up to three times it can stack. So if you're doing a lot of AoE elemental damage it's good um but well actually yeah i'll put it in b because you will once again are most likely using some sort of elemental damage somewhere in your build um and for the more enemies you inflict with elemental effect the better chance you have to do plus 75 percent elemental damage which isn't bad uh elemental cube every time you reload it picks an element and that element's damage, your attacks with this element will deal 50% extra damage. That's a huge increase in damage. Um, so there's never a reason not to pick this up. Even if you're not using an elemental weapon, you might be eventually, and you can just get plus free, free plus 50% elemental damage for that magazine, which is massive. Uh, chain elemental or something like that. Um, elemental effects will chain to nearby enemies and plus 25% of something happens. <gasps> oh, this is a rip, guys. Um, elemental damage plus 25%, and when triggering it, it'll be passed to a nearby random enemy. Uh, this is kind of huge. Elemental damage plus 25 is massive, and the fact that you're chaining it to a nearby enemy every time it happens is just great. You, you definitely want that at almost all times. The next one... Uh, plus 5% elemental damage for 10 seconds whenever you kill an enemy affected by elemental effect. 
Uh, we're going to put this one in the A category as well, because if you're doing elemental damage and you kill an enemy, you get plus 5% damage. That can keep stacking. The more you do that, the more elemental damage you're going to be doing, the more elemental damage you're doing, better off you are. So that's very good. Uh, elemental Torret, I do know this one. This is another A. Plus 20% lucky shot chance to enemies under elemental effect. So if you're doing elemental damage, you just have plus 20% lucky shot chance, which is never a bad thing. It equates to more DPS. Elemental Weave, whenever you swap to a weapon within one second, it is guaranteed to deal elemental damage. Uh, we're going to put that in B. It's not bad. There's no reason really not to take it. There's nothing. It doesn't hurt you. Um, it'll cause more elemental effects. If you start using it smart, let's say you have a corrosive or a lightning weapon and a fire weapon, you use your fire weapon for a second, you swap to your lightning weapon, guarantee yourself you're going to get a stun on an enemy. So there's good situations for it. It's not quite, it's just, it's okay. It's not, nothing crazy. Uh, elite assassin plus 10% damage for every elite or boss you kill. Uh, we're going to put this in B. It's never bad to pick it up, but... The earlier you pick it up, the better it becomes. The later you pick it up, the worse it becomes. <laughs> if you pick this up right before the final boss, it's why are you picking this up? There's no point. If you pick it up right away, it's probably an S tier because you're going to kill a lot of elites and bosses throughout the run. So it just depends. Evil Banishing Talisman, uh, immune to curse scrolls. It's good. Uh, helps you get some gold chest stuff, but you're not necessarily guaranteed to come across curse scrolls. So it's kind of okay. Evil Devouring Scroll plus 10% damage for each Cursed Scroll you have is okay. It's situational, though. If you have some Cursed Scrolls, if you're trying to inhibit yourself as much as possible and then you find this and you're like, or maybe you just got unlucky with some Cursed Scrolls and you find this, it can help, but I don't think it's quite enough damage per Cursed Scroll to make it super good. Uh, fast Loader, instantly fill your mag after swapping weapons is good. Uh, I feel like for me personally, a lot of times I'm not swapping weapons very often. Like there's one I'm using for a certain enemy and then I'll swap for a very specific enemy to a second weapon or something, but I'm not doing it constantly. Uh, it's not bad though. It, it is a very fast way to reload some weapons that take a while, like a tiger cannon or a big hippo. So it's not a bad one. I'd say it's average. I don't think it's quite a tier, but it's upper echelon of B tier. Uh, final judgment S tier. You kill, basically you kill normal enemies, with when they have like 15% health left and bosses when they have like 10% health left or something basically, or maybe that's flipped. Basically you kill things quicker. And if you're killing things quicker, everything is better. So that's S tier. It's a very, very good perk to have fire enthusiast. I do kind of know this one. So when you deal fire damage, um, you take fire damage and while you're in fire damage, you gain life steal. I forget how, what the percentage is, but that doesn't make a difference for where I'm going to put it. So we're going to put this in B. Life steals good, but you're also taking damage over time. So you have to remember, you have to be doing damage or else this is just going to hurt you. But if you are doing damage, gaining life steal could actually help you in a lot of situations. So not bad. Fire shard, uh, immune to fire damage for two seconds after taking it, but take double lightning and corrosive. It's These are all going to go in the same category. The three shards are all in the B category. Uh, next up, we have flesh and bones. You lose your shield, but you double your H or you convert your shield to HP and you restore two HP per second. Uh, we're going to put this in average because on the dog, it's a must take. This is exactly what you want on the cat. It's a potentially you might want it. You might not on the bird. Never take this, but on the cat and the dog, the dog specifically, you definitely want this on the cat. Maybe you want it. It depends the plus 2% health. Uh, regen is really nice. Passively regening health doesn't happen in this game, so that's actually massive. So it's a pretty good perk, and definitely if you're using Al Buy, one you want to run. Uh, last resort, cooldown minus one second whenever you take. Hmm, kind of forget the exact way it's said. All remaining cooldowns minus one second for each enemy you hit, triggered or flowing time, right? Uh, triggered once every two seconds, so you can. Uh, we're going to put this in B because you can get your cooldowns down a lot, but you can only trigger it once every two seconds. So it's not like you can do it a crazy amount. Um, it's definitely not a bad thing to pick up, but I don't think it quite goes in the A tier of scrolls. Flowing Wind. Uh, the faster you move, the less damage you take. Situational. If you're moving very well, yeah. 
Situational, if you're moving very fast, you're going to want to have this. Outside of it, it's nothing crazy. I don't think I put it on the same tier as these. That's why I'm going to put it in C. But it's definitely not bad to have if you have any sort of movement like abnormal speed or, or ostrich rider. Uh, whatever it is, it could be very useful. Fountain of Life. Whenever you pick up ammo or coins, you regenerate health. That's S tier. 99% um, of the time, you're going to want this because it can help you regenerate health when there's no buns nearby. And that's a massive thing to be able to do. Genesis, when shooting, 20% chance to add extra ammo to your mag is A tier. This is another case of the more you shoot, the more DPS you can do. The more you can shoot without reloading, the more DPS you can do. Uh, Giant Slayer, I don't know the exact wording, so let's figure it out, shall we? Um, when hitting the enemy, there's a 10% chance to do extra true damage, which equals 15% of enemy's current HP, up to 2,000% true damage. So that just means damage not to armor. So every time you hit an enemy, there's a 10% chance to deal 15% of the enemy's HP as damage. S tier. There's never a reason you would want this. Huge, very, very good. Gold medal. Whenever you dash, recover 15% of your shield or HP. S tier. Every time you dash, you recover 15%. That is disgusting. A very, very good perk. One of the best perks, or one of the best scrolls in the game. Not even joking. Like, not even close, really. Uh, full buns is going to go A. Whenever you pick up a bun, it now recovers full health instead of a percentage. This can get you out of some very tight spots in certain scenarios, and the peddler... The buns at the peddler become even better, and you have to spend less money on it, which can mean more upgrades, more scrolls, more other things. So this is a very good perk to have. Hawkeye Sight, plus 200% crit damage, minus 50%, minus 50 not damage when you don't crit. Um, we're going to do this same way we did Advanced Depot. This is situational. If I did this with Advanced Depot, I have to do it with Hawkeye Sight. If you're using a weapon... Oh, but it has so many more uses than Advanced Depot, so we're going to go B. If you're using a weapon where it's good to crit, or you're going to be critting a lot, um, you know, a, a sniper, a prism, a glimmering, um, in some scenarios, some, some like an auto-lock weapon, right? You're going to want this scroll because it hits like a bus. But if you have like a Justice or a big Hippo where you're not going to be critting quite as often... It just hurt, it completely pooches your run, so there's zero point of having it. So it is kind of situational, but there are a lot of situations where you'd rather have this. Uh, heavy Shield, minus 10% movement speed, but you have a 50% chance to just not take normal damage. Doesn't work for elemental damage, but for normal damage, you have a 50% chance not to take it. You're going to be a little bit slower, and it's going to feel a lot slower, but still not a bad thing to have. Uh, improved Clip, when you reload, you have a chance to not use reserve ammo i think um it's not bad there's so many better ammo perks though and that's not the one you're going to want to be like oh yeah this is the perk i need right no shot all right so we're gonna go through the ones we know now and just read the rest of the ones that we don't later lifesaver so when you die you have like one second to deal damage or to kill an enemy if you do you restore some health and you don't actually die uh, it's B, it's good, it can save you, but it's nothing crazy, no run changing. Lightless Shield, uh, potentially one of the best scrolls in the game. Definitely the best defensive scroll. Uh, you get three stacks of it, they restore every so often. Every stack of it will just completely whiff a damage. So you just don't take damage when you get hit for three stacks. Uh, Magic Magazine, uh, I kind of forget what it does, so we're going to skip it. Magic Watch, A tier. 33% chance to not use your dash, not use your E ability. Um, so having a 33% chance to dual wield back to back or to dash back to back, whatever, it's very, very good. You're always going to want to take this when you can. Merciless combo, plus 10% damage when hitting an enemy for every second or for one second, and it can stack up to 100%. So if you're hitting an enemy with a scalpel or any automatic weapon, you're going to get plus 100% damage. Even other weapons, it can work really well with. Never a reason not to take it. Merciless Strike. When crit, when you hit a crit, plus 50% chance to lucky shot when not hitting... Oh, I'm breaking my own rule here. Minus 50% lucky shot chance on normal hit. So once again, we're going to put this in the same category as Hawkeye Sight. If you're critting and you want to be critting, it's good. If you're critting a lot, you want it. If you're not... 
you, this is just going to hurt you, so you don't want to take it. Not quite as hurt you as bad as Hawkeye Sight, but it will still hurt you. Uh, Yin Yang, you switch between doing more damage or not taking less damage. Uh, this is an A tier. It, it, it's a very, very good perk. All it does is help. Nothing wrong with any of it. Ninja Invincibility, when you wait for a certain amount of time, you, every second you deal plus 10% extra damage up to 50%. Uh, B, it's okay. It's whatever. It's actually, we're going to put that in C. Well, we're going to put that in, we're going to put that in C. It's okay. It's nothing crazy. It's, it's just not, it's just not great. It's okay though. It's, it's not terrible. Um, um, Osterd or on the house, your first thing at the peddler is free. That's a tier that can save you a ton of money throughout a run and is very good to pick up if you can. Ostrich Rider, you can't dash, but plus 60% move speed is situational for me. I think it's it's very, very fast. You move very, very fast, but you can't dash. And personally, I think dashing is a better way for me to dodge, and it just makes more sense in my head. So situational for me, it's a C tier. It's nothing crazy. Uh, Paranormality is A. I can't quite put it into S because on the dog, it's literally useless. You don't want it. But you lose all your health and you double your shield on the cat and especially on the bird. It is a must take. On the bird, it's like S plus tier. Uh, but it's a very good perk overall or a very good scroll when you get it overall. So that's why it's going to go there. Um, penetration bullet. You Basically, your crits will just not pa bypass armor on non-boss enemies. This is going to go in the A tier. Because as long as you're using a weapon that can crit, you want this. You want this bad. This can melt enemies make it go so much faster uh phantom skin you can get three tiers of it it's an s tier defensive perk uh you get three tiers of it you restore armor or shield every time you get hit um i believe it's 10 percent, 20 percent, something like that but it's a 30 percent, maybe i don't know but it's a very good perk to have pairs really well with other defensive perks you're gonna want to take it if you can uh, propulsion device triple dash is s tier the movement you can get with triple dash the dodging everything you want it's crazy s tier very very good one to have uh preemptive strike the first bullet in your mag deals uh plus 50 percent extra damage situational if you're using a weapon that doesn't have a lot of ammo in the mag or a glimmering or prism or a, or a bow uh anything like that this thing will help you out tremendously and equate to a ton of damage but if not it's really just a throwaway scroll if you're using like a scalpel, a big hippo, anything like that. Uh, reinforced eggshell, minus 30% damage taken while you have shield, plus 30% damage taken when you don't have shield. We're going to put it B. Uh, it's very, very good on the bird, and if you have paranormality, obviously it's a must take. But on the bear and the cat, it's very iffy, because uh, as soon as your shield breaks, you are like almost dead. <laughs> Like, you, you will take a ton of extra damage, and you will get hit like a bus. So it's it's good, but it's not something you want to take all the time. Um, plus 50% dam damage when standing still. Uh, this is C. It, it's not great. You're not standing still a ton. Uh, if you're doing, like, a sniper build or something where you're sitting back and doing it, it's good. But, but outside of that, it's just meh. Uh, Sanguine Relic, plus 50% damage taken, but plus 3% lifesteal. I'm going to be honest, to me, this has never, ever been worth it. I've taken it if I have a busted synergy, but really, I, I really don't think the lifesteal makes up for what you lose. So, personally, I wouldn't do it. Not for me. Uh, skateboarder, instantly fill the magazine when dashing. That is an A. Uh, every time you dash, you fill the mag, which means chances are you're not going to have to reload most of your weapons um, very often. And that means more DPS and more damage equals good times. Snow boots. Um, yes, please S tier. Not being affected by decay is, or slows is unbelievably good, especially on the final boss, especially against octopus things at the, in the last stage. It is just... You want this for the third stage so, so bad. And it's, I can't say enough about how good Snow Boots is. Uh, speedy Pursuit, plus 50% lucky shot chance for three seconds after dashing. Um, it's very good. It, 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 all it does is help you throughout the run. And if you can dash all, more often or more times or both, 
this is gonna give you a ton of lucky shot chance. Uh, Spirit Feline plus 100% damage taken, but you can't lose more than 14% HP at a time. For me, this is very situational. Um, I very rarely pick it up anymore. You, it, it prevents you from getting bursted down, but if you're in a trap, you will die so so fast. Like you will almost instantly die if you're in a trap. So. Just depends on how confident you feel that you're not going to be dying to a trap. Um, after dashing, plus 20% move speed or plus some percent move speed is B. It's average. It's good. It's okay. It's not run train changing, but it is very good. Uh, thorny card piece, when your shield breaks, deal 400 corrosive damage to enemies around you. Another okay. It's good. Nothing crazy, but it'll just passively happen. You don't have to do anything. It's solid. Triple comeback, I am going to put A. Uh, it just gives you more lives. If, if you're playing really well and you don't have to use a triple comeback for a while, like you just essentially save a res. It, it, it's just it's just a very good thing to have. When your health's lowered, your shield's lowered, you're going to feel like you, know, you need to play a little bit better. So you get basically two free revives, but your heal, shield and health are cut in half. Sorry, I'm trying to go fast because this is a long video for a tier list, but we're almost done. Uh, double exhilaration, 50% chance for your secondary skill to deal double damage, and there's a 50% chance that there's double consumption. Uh, this is a B. It's very good in a few scenarios if you're doing a cleave build on your bird. Uh, very solid, but a lot of times you don't want to be anything to be using double consumption especially if you're not getting the plus 50 percent damage but it does pair well with some things like uh double exhilaration wherever that was up here so not bad um veteran situational plus one percent hp for every or i guess i'll put it no i'll put it in the same category as copper miner because they kind of are the same uh plus one hp for every enemy you kill within seven meters you're probably going to get some use out of this no matter who you're using or what build you're using but it is very good on specific builds and not so good on other builds. But you will probably get some sort of effect out of it. So I'll put it in B. Um, I don't know if I know all the... Uh, shrine recovery. Fully recover HP after switching or after moving to the next area. It's okay. It's not great. It, I've never found this to be like, oh, wow, shrine recovery just saved me. So that's why I'm going to put it there. Uh, perfect sixth. Every sixth shot deals plus 100% damage or something like that, or plus it increases your damage significantly. This is a pretty good good damage increaser to have. You're going to be, most of your weapons are going to shoot six bullets pretty quick. So fairly often you're going to be getting this trigger and it'll equate to a lot of damage. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and start doing some of these now. So that one is... Um, last stand. Reset all the cooldown of all skills when you lose 20% in a single hit. Uh, C tier, it's it's okay. Uh, obviously, if you lose 20% in a single hit, having your skills come back is nice, but chances are it's not going to do enough for you to make that worth it to be in a B or an A scroll. It's just not on the same level as these. Uh, Magic Magazine... Uh, when reloading, there's a 33% chance that no reserve ammo is used. It's okay. It can save you some ammo, but that's not like the ammo scroll you're going to want to have. Uh, Mid-air strike, 50% damage while in air is B. I feel like I'm jumping around a lot when I'm dodging, so you're going to get a little lot of damage out of this, but it's nothing, nothing crazy. You're not, you know, like flying or anything floating, so you're not going to be doing anything too crazy with it. Um, let's go ahead and do these ones next. Fountain of Life, we already got. Safety measures. After taking damage using dash within one second, we'll recover 30% of damage taken as HP. It's not bad, but it's nothing crazy. Um, so you can recover your damage after you dash, but it's like kind of essentially just a worse, worse version of gold medal, uh, in my opinion. And the other one is... What is that? Why doesn't it exist? Why aren't you real? Oh, maybe they changed the... Oh, is that Coins of Life? No. I don't know what you are. 
Kind of looks like Fountain of Life, but didn't I already do Fountain of Life? Rip, we don't have time for this. I don't care. Uh, we're doing the other ones. Wind Rider, gain damage reduction for every three dash you use. Very situational. If you have triple dash, it's good. If you don't, it's very, very average and not anything to write home about, frankly. Um, let's see. We have, oh boy. Uh, plus 3% weapon damage for every 100 copper you own, up to 30% max. It's B, it's okay, it's good. You just passively get more damage for having copper, which is never, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a good thing to have. And silver metal, your shield starts recharging when you kill an enemy or destroy an item. Uh, B tier, again, it's not bad. You can shoot barrels or whatever to start regenerating your shield, but it's just a much worse version of the gold medal in its own right. All right, we've got two more here. We're almost done. No retreat. Plus 50% weapon damage when your grenade count is zero. B, it's okay. Chances are your grenade count's not going to be zero that often, but if it is, or if you do that on purpose, you're going to be doing plus 50% 50, 50 damage, which is always a good thing to do. And the last one, because I have no idea what that other one is, uh, resolute. Plus 50% movement speed and 25% damage when your shield or armor is zero. And your recharge rate gets doubled. Uh, it's okay. You get a lot out of it, but your recharge rate gets doubled. And it's really just not crazy good or anything like that. It, it's, it's solid, but it's not, you know, everything you want it to be. I'm, I'm seriously trying to think, where's... That's Fountain of Life. That's like Fountain of Life 2.0. I don't think that's real. <laughs> I think we're being bamboozled by that. But, oh wait, is that, that's not Coins of Life, though. So some of the scrolls aren't in here, but we will make an updated one soon. These are the base scrolls. I just wanted to get a baseline out. God, that was a long video. I even tried not explaining nearly as much as I would have. Sheesh, I'm too in-depth. But thank you guys for watching. Like I said, check those links in the description. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know where you would move some of these scrolls and let me know why, how wrong I am about this. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.